Welcome to Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'm going to compare subtracting a mixed number, regrouping, versus an improper fraction. I first will show how to regroup, and then I'll work the same problem, but instead I'll convert it to an improper fraction and subtract. is 5 and 3 tenths minus 3 and 1 half. Okay, so what we have here is, let's go ahead and write it, 5 3 tenths minus 3 and 1 half. Okay, so in order to get the, the common denominator is 10, so this becomes uh, 2 will go into 10 5 times, so we multiply both by 5, so we have 5 tenths minus 5 and 3 uh, tenths. So let me rewrite this. So we have 5 and 3 tenths minus um, 3 and 5 tenths. Well, you can see from this that the this fraction is smaller than uh, the fraction here. So we're going to have to borrow a number. Okay. So when we borrow the number, we take the numerator and add it to the denominator. So 3 plus 10 becomes 13, and this 5 becomes 4. So we have 4 and 3 tenths minus 3 and 5 tenths. Okay, so now when we subtract, um, 4 minus 3 is 1, and then 13 minus 5 is 8 tenths, and then we can simplify that by dividing by 2, and so that becomes 1 and 4 fifths. Okay, and so there's the first one. Gets a little messy in here. I'll work another. Okay, so here is problem number one, and I'm going to rewrite this as an improper fraction, and the way it's written, it's very hard to see. So what you do first is you multiply the denominator, the bottom number, times the whole number, which is 10 times 5, which is 50, and then add the top number. So that becomes 10 times 5 is 50, plus 3 becomes 53 of 10 minus, I'll do the same here, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7 halves. And now we just subtract them. So we need to find a common denominator. And 10 is the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by uh, 5. And so 7 times 5 is 35. And 2 times 5 is 10. So now uh, let's rewrite this. We have 53 tenths minus 35 tenths. So now we just subtract. 53 minus 35 is 18 over 10, okay? And so since that's, these are uh, the same number, you do not subtract them. So now we need to convert this to a mixed number. So we take 18 and divide it by 10. 10 will go into 18 one time, and we have 8 left over. So that is 1 and 8 tenths, and then... We reduce that by dividing both by 2, and that becomes 1 and um, 4 fifths. Okay, so you can see I got the same answer we just converted into an improper In this fraction. one, we have a whole number. So we have 17 minus, excuse me, I'll write the minus here, 9 and 2 thirds. 
Well, with this one, we don't really have anything to subtract from, okay? So what we do is we borrow 1 from the 17, so the 17 becomes 16, and then this takes the same number as um, because 3 over 3 equal itself, so we have 3 over 3. You always use the um, bottom number of the other fraction you're subtracting. So now we have 16 and 3 thirds minus 9 and 2 thirds. Well, we don't have to find a common denominator on this one, so now we just subtract. 16 minus 9 is 5, and then 3 minus 2 is 1, and we keep the same fraction. So, excuse me, 16 minus 9 is not 5, pardon me, it is 7. So that becomes 7 and 1 third, okay? So since we didn't have a fraction to subtract from, so what we do instead is just borrow 1 and then put 3 over 3 so, so that we don't have to find a common denominator. And let's work this very let's last work the next one. one as an improper fraction. So now we'll work it. So we'll take 17 over 1 minus, and so we go 3 times 9 plus 2, that is 3 times 9 is 27, plus 2 is 29 thirds, okay? So now you begin to see part of the problem with an improper fraction is that the numbers get large because the common denominator is 3. So I've got to multiply 17 times 3 and 1 times 3. And so when I go 17 times 3, uh, that becomes 51 over 3. So the numbers just get a little bit larger. So now I'm going to rewrite this. So we have 51 over 3 minus 29 over 3. And you'll see that you get the same answer no matter which way you write, work it. 51 minus 29 equals 22 over 3. And now we just reduce it to a mixed number. 3 will go into 22 7 times with 1 left over because 7 times 3 is 21, and 22 minus 21 is 1 and 7 thirds, okay? Now this last okay. one, 20 and 1 eighths, it's kind of hard to read that, okay? Minus 7 and 3 fourths, okay? Uh, we have to find a common denominator, and the common denominator is 8. So 4 times 2 equals 8, and 3 times 2 equals 8. 6. So now we have, I'll rewrite this so it's not so messy. We have 20 and 1 8 minus 7 and 6 eighths. Well, now we have a problem because we can't subtract 1 minus 6. So what we do is we borrow 1 from the 20 and that becomes a 19. Add the numerator plus the denominator. 1 plus 8 is 9 eighths minus seven and six eighths. As you can see from this, it's uh, they get a little messy, but um, that's just part of it. Okay, so now we have 19 minus seven, which is 12. Nine minus six is three. And since we have a common denominator, that becomes eight. And that is simplified or reduced. And so that will be your answer. Okay, so I hope that helps. And that is um, subtracting mixed fractions by regrouping. Hope that helps. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share. You'll see that numbers get a little large whenever you convert it into an improper fraction. So what I'm going to do is I have 20 and 1 eighths minus 7 and 3 fourths. So I go 8 times 20, which is 160, plus 1 is 161 over 8 minus 4 times 7 is um, 20, 7, 14, 28, plus 3 is 31 over 4. Um, so now what I need to do is um, I need to find a common denominator, and it is 8. So now I have 31 times 2 and 4 
times 2. And so this becomes 31 times 2 is 62 over 8. So I'm going to rewrite this. So now I have 161 over 8 minus 62 over 8. And you can begin to see the numbers just get a little bit larger. I personally think it's easier to regroup. But let's finish this out. So now we have 161 minus 62 equals 99 over 8. And then to convert it to an improper fraction, we have 99 divided by 8. 8 will go into 9 one time. And we have 1 left over. And then that becomes 19. 8 times 2 is 16. And that gives you 3 left over. And so that becomes 12 and 3 eighths. Wow, that gets a little messy. 12 and 3 eighths. Okay, so that's the same problem. But instead, I just convert it to an improper fraction and then subtract. Thanks for watching, and you decide which one you like better. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.